Hi there, and welcome to this video about algebraic proofs. Um, we'll focus on exam style questions. Um, so let's uh, start with the tools that you're going to need. You need to understand these ideas to be able to do the rest. Um, so you need to be able to write a general even number. Now, basically, any number multiplied by 2 is an even number. So you could have 2n, 2m. 2p, it doesn't really matter. So any letter times by 2 will generate an even number and that's the way that when we're doing these questions we um, write down a general even number. Now, if they're even numbers, well we can use that to write down a general odd number. So we could say, well, that's an, an even number and if I add 1 onto it, it's definitely going to be an odd number. We could do 2n minus 1 because obviously if that's an even number, if we take one off it, it also generates an odd number. And as before, we could have different letters. So these would all generate general odd numbers that we use in these examples. Consecutive numbers. So basically, if you have any number, let's say x, well, the next number after that, if you have a number and you want the consecutive number to it, then you just add 1. Number that's consecutive to that is x plus 2. And prior to x, you would have x minus 1. So these are, or this is a way that you could write a set of consecutive numbers. Consecutive odd numbers, well, let's go back to our general odd number. So if I have an odd number there, general odd number 2n plus 1. Well, you think about any odd number, let's say 7. Well, to get the next odd number, what you'd do is you'd add 2. So the, the odd number after this would be 2n plus 1 plus 2. And we'd normally write this, obviously, as 2n plus 3. And then the next one would be 2n plus 5, and so on. Likewise, if I wanted to get the odd number before this one we'd have to take away 2 so we'd end up with 2n minus 1. Consecutive even numbers well let's just take a general even number 2m would be a fairly standard way of writing an even number and if I want to generate the next even number we'll take any even number say 6 you'd add 2 to that to get the next even number so there's an even number so the next even number 2m plus 2 one after that, 2m plus 4. And again, the letter doesn't matter. Just choose a letter and go from there. So that's the general tools that you're going to need to answer the typical questions that you get for algebraic proofs. So let's have a look at an exam question. Now, the first thing I need to point out is so many students go badly wrong on this because they start putting in numbers. You can't prove anything just by showing a few examples. You can use a counterexample to prove something isn't true, but you can't use examples to show something is true. Um, so let's go ahead and try and do this one. So prove that 3n plus 1 squared minus 3n minus 1 squared is a multiple of 4 for all positive integer values of n. So to do this question, what we need to do is expand this, and then we'll worry about this part once we've got the expansion simplified. So I'm not going to use this video to detail um, the expansions um, for this question because you know that's something you can look at uh, at a separate occasion. I want this to be all about the, the proofs here. So we're going to do 3n plus 1 squared. So let's just write down what that is. So that's 9n squared plus 6n plus 1. So that's the expansion there. 3n minus 1 squared is 9n squared minus 6n plus 1. So what we've now done is we've expanded these so all we're going to do is this subtract this and I could even use the platform I've set up here by doing a subtraction of that subtract that. So 9n squared subtract 9n squared 0 this is perhaps where some students might go wrong. 6n subtract negative 6n is going to be 12n. And 1 subtract 1 is 0. So we're left with 12n. So that subtract that leaves us with 12n. So what we need to do now is 
um, show that this is a multiple of 4. Well, any number that's a multiple of 12, as this would be, is also a multiple of um, 4. So basically you need to say is uh, divisible by 4 and so um, 3n plus 1 squared minus 3n minus 1 squared is also divisible by 4. Okay, I've had to um, just quickly write divisible by 4 in that way, but uh, in the exam I think it's advisable to write it down um, in the correct way. So probably using the words is a multiple of 4 would be the safest bet there. Okay, so let's have a look at example 2. Prove using algebra that the sum of two consecutive whole numbers is always an odd number. So, so we're looking at the sum, so we're adding consecutive whole numbers, so they are related, they're consecutive, so we are looking at, say, m and m plus 1 as our two consecutive whole numbers. So we're talking about the sum, so we're adding them, so let's look at what happens when we add them. And we're trying to show that this is an odd number. Well, this is clearly a multiple of 2. And if it's a multiple of 2, it's even. And if you add 1 to an even number, then you get an odd number. So this is even. And if you add 1 to an even number, you get an odd number. Okay, so there's the proof for that one. Example 3, prove algebra that the sum of squares of any two consecutive numbers always leaves a remainder of 1 when divided by 4. So, m, m plus 1, there's our consecutive numbers and we've got two squares of any. So we've got to square both of these m terms. So we're looking at m squared plus m plus 1 squared. So m squared plus m squared, we're expanding this now, 2m plus 1. So we end up with 2m squared plus 2m plus 1. So let's just look at this bit here and factorise this. Now, it's quite possible that um, it's not clear why this would have a remainder of 1 when divided by 4. Well, the crucial bit here is that we know that m and m plus 1 are consecutive numbers. Now, if you take any two consecutive numbers, then one of them has to be odd and one of them has to be even. So what we're saying is 2 is being multiplied by an even number and an odd number. Now, if you have... 2 times an even number then it is going to be divisible by 4. So this expression must be divisible by 4 because you've got 2 and it's times by an even number. One of these has to be even. So 2 times an even has to be divisible by 4. So this expression must be divisible by 4. So so this means that 2m m plus 1 is divisible by 4. And if you have something that's divisible by 4 in the 4 times table and you add 1 to it, then it's going to give you a remainder of 1 when you divide by 4. So this bit here is divisible by 4, and then if you add 1 to any number in the 4 times table, when you divide it by 4, it's going to have a remainder of 1. And let's go to number 4 then. So prove that the product of two odd numbers is odd. Now, this is the first one where 
we haven't got a connection between the numbers. So we've had consecutive numbers, consecutive odd numbers, consecutive even numbers. This is just two odd numbers. So we must use different letters. So let's say our first odd number is 2n plus 1. Product means that we're going to multiply the two together. And I've chosen a different letter for my other odd number. Okay, so let's multiply these two together. So find the product, expand the brackets. So you're looking at 4mn plus 2n plus 2m plus 1. Well, again, this is divisible by 2. This is divisible by 2. This is divisible by 2. And you've got 1 added on at the end. So if all of these are even, because they're all divisible by 2, and you add even numbers together, so even plus even plus an even gives you an even number. So if you add 1 onto that, you're going to get an odd number. Okay, So that proves that the product of two odd numbers is odd. Last one. Um, so this one proved that the sum of two consecutive multiples is of five is always an odd number. So consecutive multiples of five. Well, let's take a general multiple of five. There's a multiple of five and consecutive. So the next one after that, well, if you take any number that's in the five times table to get the next one, you add five. So let's call it five M plus five. So the sum of the two is just five M plus 5m plus 5 which is 10m plus 5 and we're trying to say that this is always going to be an odd number well 10m is divisible by 2 so that's even and if you add 5 onto an odd number so it's 5 onto an even number you're going to get an odd number um, next one so prove that the product of two consecutive multiples of 5 is always an even number. So we can use the same two. Product again means times. Multiply those out, we get 25m squared plus 25m. And we're trying to, so we've got the product of two consecutive numbers there. And we're trying to show that it's always an even number. So let's factorise our expression. So we've got 25 m m plus 1. And again, we're back to this point here that these here are consecutive numbers. One of them must be an even number. So we know that one of these two is divisible by 2. Now, if you times anything by 2, then you're going to get an even number. So, because m and m plus 1 are consecutive, one must be even. So, so we could consider that 25 m m plus 1 has to have a factor of 2 so it is even okay and that's it thank you